All right, the engine is coming together very nicely. We got the head bolted down, torque to factory spec. Camshafts are in, timing bell is on. I'm gonna bar the engine over by hand just to make sure all the timing marks are good. So we'll do 720 of the crank. I can hear compression. That's good. <laughs> I'm uh, kind of curious, maybe we should do a leak down test and see how much air is coming out of the exhaust ports, hopefully none, um, or we'll just skip that and throw fresh spark plugs in there and button her back up. Alright, after repair leak down test, sweet, 20 psi, nothing coming out of the exhaust ports. The only cylinder I'm really worried about is number three because if you remember we had uh, those valves with that kind of a pit or dimple in them. So firing order, let's see, one, three, four. So let's do number three, the one that we're really worried about. Uh, turn the engine over 180. Okay. That's not good. So we do have some leakage out of those exhaust valves in number three, unfortunately. Well, I mean, too late now, but I guess worst case scenario, we'll have to replace those valves, but man, uh, I don't want to tear this thing apart for the third time. Here's number four. No leakage there. Beautiful. Last but not least, number two. Beautiful. So if you remember before, we had leakage in all of them. Now, only in number three due to those defective valves. But hopefully it'll run and, you know, it'll find, uh, kind of break in a little bit. Like I said, uh, at this point, all we can do is finish putting it back together and take it for a test drive. And we're going to install some sweet iridium NGK spark plugs. I love good spark plugs. At least give it a chance, you know? Alright, finally ready for the initial startup. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Might as well open the garage door, might make a little cloud of snow.
check for exhaust leaks. We're going to bleed the cooling system. back on and take it for a spin let you know how it goes all right guys got back from a test drive nice runs like a raped ape zero to 60 uh, maybe six seconds or so right <laughs> but uh, it's never it's never run this good as, uh, as long as I've serviced it and driven it so you can only hope it'll last another 200,000 miles I mean all things considering that's a pretty cheap fix you know under a grand Easy to uh, easy to do. The new piston rings and valve seals, and clean up some valves, slap them in. Uh, on number three, well, if it runs now, I mean, I don't see any reason to tear it back apart in the near future to replace those little pitted valves unless it gets worse. Uh, last thing I want to do is do a hot engine compression check, you know, manual gauge across the board, and see what our after numbers are. Compare them to spec, and that'll be it. All right, here we go. Cylinder number one. One eighty. Okay, I'm happy with that. Here's number two. 75. I'm really curious about number three here. If those valves found a, a happy place. Oh, we got 165. Okay, so a little lower, but um, still within spec. Let me look up the specs. Last, but definitely not least, number four. Uh, 185. All right, and the specs are so here are the specs 97 and earlier, cylinder compression at 250 RPM, standard is 191, minimum is 142. So uh, we're definitely above the minimum, and I'd say uh, for our situation here, I think we did pretty damn well. <clears throat> well, 
Well, I hope you uh, hope you guys enjoy that series. Uh, I had a good time. <laughs> it's always a pleasure working on one of these old cars with no modules everywhere, and it's just nice and simple. Get the job done. It runs great. Uh, it's just a satisfying feeling. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.